Someone has found out a way to determine your general location by just sending you a friend request or an emoji on Discord. And I'm going to explain how it works, how to avoid it, and whether or not you should be worried. Now, I'm taking a look at this article by Hackermon Dev, which talks about a unique zero-click de-anonymization de attack targeting Signal, Discord, and hundreds of platforms. And yes, it did take me two minutes to figure out how to pronounce that word. I'm illiterate. Now, I have this article linked in the description, but I'm going to explain it in ways that I will understand in a year when I turn into an inevitable boomer. So you don't have to be a tech nerd to understand what's going on. But basically, when you're on Discord and you send an image, if you open up the image in your browser, you'll notice that it's from a cdn.discordapp.com link. Now, if I open up my console, in my image here, it has certain things like CF cache status and CF ray. Now, this indicates that it is using Cloudflare's global content distribution network, their CDN. But the way that it operates is off of Cloudflare's caching system. Now, the point of caching is to reduce server load and improve website performance, because the last thing you want to do is try loading up an image and it goes pixel by pixel, just like back in the good old days on dial-up when you tried loading up one of those raunchy images. So instead of going back to those nostalgic times when things were simpler, what companies like Cloudflare will do is store copies of frequently accessed content, such as images or videos of certain natures, in geographically distributed data centers that are closer to you, the end user. So nerdy translation, imagine you go into the middle of Alaska, you're trying to roleplay as the outdoor boys, and you realize you're about to die. So you pull up one of their YouTube videos to figure out how to survive. What you don't want happening is you waiting 10 years while the video loads from a server in Europe. What you probably want instead is the video loading from Cloudflare's Alaska server. But getting back to this exploit, Hackermon, the dude behind this had an idea. If Cloudflare stores cached data so close to its users, could this be exploited for de-anonymization attacks on sites we don't control? When you take a look at the HTTP response of an image loaded by Cloudflare's own servers, you can see whether or not the cache status is hit or miss. And the CF Ray header also includes the airport code for the closest airport to the data center that handled the request. So again, some nerd translation. When I looked at these Superman gas station pills, we saw that there was both CF cache status and CF ray. Now you can see that it says hit for CF cache status, and that's because I loaded the image. It is sitting in cache. And you can see CF ray ends in YVR, which is the Vancouver airport, and my VPN right now is connected to Vancouver. And I set my location to Vancouver using this video's partner NordVPN. Smooth, I know. Now this exploit of the friend request notification getting your location can be completely mitigated by using a VPN like NordVPN. Because with NordVPN's 7,000 high-speed servers that span over 118 countries, you can trick Discord and other websites into thinking that you are from a completely different country. And since the friend request notification gets sent to your phone, you'll want to use NordVPN's mobile app. And you can use NordVPN on a bunch of devices, even your Google TV. And that's because if you get bored of what TV shows are available on your streaming platform of choice, you can use NordVPN to change your country and get a whole new catalog of localized TV shows. So if you're Netflix and chilling with someone from the UK, just change your location to the UK and she'll feel right at home in your arms. And if you didn't know, anytime I look at one of those sketchy Discord scams, I'm using NordVPN in the background to hide my IP. And that's because if I didn't hide my IP, the snot-nosed Discord scammer would try to DDoS me off the internet. And now those wonderful Netflix plans I was talking about, ruined, because that girl's gonna think I'm too poor to afford my internet bill. If you use my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash no text to speech, you get four extra months with the purchase of a two-year plan. Did my British date text me back the morning after? No. But on the bright side, if you're also someone that struggles with commitment, with NordVPN, you can get a 30-day money-back guarantee at nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. Again, that is nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. And now, back to the video. Now, to understand this a little bit more, you need to understand what caching is. Now, I literally just stole this image from Cloudflare's own What is Caching blog. Now, let's say I'm talking to someone who's trying to do a romance scam on me, and they want to take a look at that image. What's going to happen on their computer is they're going to contact Cloudflare's closest CDN server. Now, this server doesn't have the image, so what will happen is that this origin server will send a copy of Mr. Superman gas station pills to this server so that this person could view the image. And when that copy of the image is on this server, that little flag of caching goes from miss to hit to indicate that Superman Superman, the copy of Superman, is on this server for people to access. But if we zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that all these other servers, they don't have Superman on them, so their flag is miss. So what if there was a way where we could talk to every single one of these servers and see, are you hit or are you miss? And if one of these servers had the flag hit, which means that they stored a copy of that Superman picture, that means that whoever I sent that picture to is probably located near this server. And considering those Cloudflare servers are all across the world, we can get a pretty good estimate on where 
where someone lives if we ask every single server. Uh, but here's the thing. Unfortunately, you can't just simply send requests to an individual Cloudflare data center. You can't just ask every single server, do you have the image of Superman gas station pills? And this is mainly for security purposes. However, using a very weird bug that they found from someone in May of 2022, apparently they were able to make it happen. But combining all those nerdy details, skipping over all the hard work and all that stuff, how does this look for normal Discord users like me and you that don't even know what the f*** just happened in the past couple minutes. Well, fortunately for us, Hackermon actually reached out to me and allowed me to test out the bot and show you how it works in action when someone sends you a friend request and figures out your location. So after closing some incognito tabs, I open up my phone and I set my VPN's location to New York. Now, once I did that, Hackermon ran the command and what it first does is it resets the avatar to something new. And that's so that all these servers don't have that profile picture cached. Then what the bot will do is it will send me a friend request on my phone. Now, if we look at the friend request on my phone, Phone, it looks pretty innocent, but you might have noticed that my phone loaded the person's profile picture. That is an image. Technically, my phone downloaded the avatar URL without me interacting, and that's why this is considered a zero-click exploit. It's because me getting a notification didn't require me to like click on a button. It's not like clicking a Grabify link. I did nothing. Yet this image was loaded on my phone and displayed alongside the notification. And since I loaded that image, you know what Cloudflare caching is doing. And I think the really interesting thing with both this avatar and the way Discord works is that the avatar URL format used in specifically push notifications ends in avatar hash and that's it. But if the avatar URL or the avatar is displayed in the website, so if it's on like a user profile or viewed in your user bar, the URL that is used to load this image is just slightly different. It's avatar hash.png. And the thing is, is that both of those URLs lead to the exact same image, but since they're in a different URL, they're cached separately, which means means all you have to do is just go to every single one of those Cloudflare servers and ask, is this specific link, the one for push notifications, cached on your server? And if so, that means we know where the person is. And well, taking a look back at my testing, I have this IP of 185.199.102.227. I checked it on my computer. It's located in New York, and you wouldn't believe what the bot figured out. It showed that I was located smack dab in New York. And the biggest danger about this is that this friend request notification will always be sent to your phone if you're logged in on Discord. It doesn't matter if you have Discord open, it will still send that notification to your phone. Now, of course, if you've been on Discord for any period longer than five minutes, you probably know that you can completely turn off your friend requests. So you might think this whole friend request thing, you don't have to worry about it. But one, there's an emoji method where you send an emoji and it'll figure out your location, which I'll talk about. But the second thing is that you assume Discord users are... Turn off their friend requests. In the article, what happened is that Hackermon tried this attack on Stanislav, not even gonna try and pronounce his last name. It's Discord CTO, someone who works at Discord. And what they did is they ran the command for his account, and within seconds, they got a map of the location and where he might be. Now, this map is massive. It spans from San Francisco to Dallas, and I'll talk about that problem later. But first, let's talk about how this works with emojis, because stopping someone from sending you emojis is a lot harder than just turning off all your friend requests. But it works exactly the same. If you send someone an emoji and they view it, it's going to get cached on one of Cloudflare servers and you can trace it and figure out where someone is. However, it is a lot more complicated because the way Discord emojis work is that they have a whole bunch of different formats of WebP, PNG, GIF, and a whole bunch of sizes. And this results in 124 possible URLs that need to be scanned. Now, if you know a lot about Discord, you can reduce the number to only 62 links, but you still need to search all three hundred Cloudflare servers for every single variation of that specific emoji link. But if you send an emoji on Discord, you are technically viewing it as well, which means that that emoji will be cached at your own location, which would just ruin all the results. So to make things even more difficult, you need to use network request blocking to block Discord CDN so that you can't load any URLs and mess up the whole entire thing. Basically, it's a little bit more complicated, but it works because I have my VPN set to Phoenix, Arizona, and all Hackermon did is just send this random emoji. And the important thing is that you aren't going to know when someone sends you an emoji that they're using to track you down. Like, there is nothing that is telling me that this is some weird emoji. And all Hackermon dev has to do is just run the bot command and it'll find where I'm located. Here's the thing, it didn't really go as expected. The VPN is in Arizona, but it pinged both Arizona and it pinged Dallas. And I think this is a perfect time to transition into both the drawbacks and the dangers of this whole entire thing. Now, I'm going to start simple and alternate between drawback and danger, and we're going to 
slowly escalate into nut job conspiracy theories. When we did that friend request testing, we figured out the exact location that my VPN was in, New York City. Except the drawback is, if you just copy the circle and you put it in a website that estimates the population, you'll notice that in the circle, according to this website, maps.ie, there is 33,748,874 people in this circle. So if uh, someone was trying to find exactly me, they have a pretty slim chance. They have to go through 33 million people. But the first danger that this thing has is that it is a stalking tool. Using this sort of exploit isn't just like, I sent you a friend request and now I know everything about you and your social insurance number. All this is is just another tool in someone's arsenal to either stalk you or figure out who you are. It didn't require anything that felt weird. Someone just sent me a friend request or I just saw someone's emoji on Discord. But let's talk about that emoji testing because when we did test emojis, we saw the second drawback of the system and it's the fact that there is a very broad and sometimes inaccurate location. You can see my VPN was in Phoenix. Uh, this isn't very good if you're trying to figure out like where to drop a nuke to specifically take out a Discord user. But taking a look at the article, there is a bit of an explanation on why this could have happened. The reason why there's two local Cloudflare data centers could mean that a person has multiple devices hooked up with their Discord account that received the push notification, which in my case, I just had my phone. But what could have also happened is that my device loaded the avatar twice and the requests were load balanced within different data centers. But if you go to discord.com slash CDN dash CGI slash trace, you can actually see what server you're connected to. Specifically in COLO, mine is connected to SEA, which is Seattle. Now, the strange thing is that on my VPN, I am connected to Vancouver, not Seattle. So why is it putting me in Seattle? Even though if you look at Cloudflare's map, they have a specific server for Vancouver. Well, if Vancouver is really busy at some point, it might redirect me to Seattle just because it's faster. And if I refresh the page, it actually worked this time. That's awesome. Anyways, if I refresh the page, you'll notice that now I'm at YVR. So things can just switch around all back and forth and it's all meant to make things fast. But that fastness is to the detriment of this whole entire tool being accurate. But even with this very broad location, people are still going to use this because the second danger with this tool is that uh, Discord users are dumb. But on my Notion, my note-taking app that I use to like sort through all my video ideas, I have a whole entire page dedicated to Discord e-gangster servers. And basically, it's a bunch of dumb kids pretending to be a cyber hacker man and they try doxing and swatting each other. They do illegal stuff and they're doing all this over, you guessed it, drama over e-girls and how one person might have called another person a poron, which is a poor moron. We have all lost IQ today. And there will be kids who will be terrorized over someone saying, I sent you a friend request and I know where you live. You either live in San Diego, Phoenix, Albuquerque, uh, Dallas, New Orleans. The kid's gonna be like, oh God, no. I hate to say it, but this situation isn't something I made up. This actually happens. This is what I have to deal with sometimes and it hurts my soul. But getting back on topic in terms of this exploit, there is a third drawback and it's the server locations themselves. If you live somewhere where you're not really close to a Cloudflare location, for example, if you're in like West Australia, you might connect over here, you might connect over here. It's really ambiguous. And honestly, all I would know is that you're probably in Australia. However, there is a danger Danger associated with this because if you are a journalist, an activist, or a criminal, you might live every single hour of your life in paranoia because you're being hunted down by a dangerous organization. And if they're able to send you a friend request on Discord or send you an emoji on Discord, it also gets worse on what else you can do. But if they can do something that simple and figure out where you are at a specific time, if you've left the country or maybe you're in a different country, it just gives them another tool, another advantage to figure out where you're at at a specific time to track you down. And I think the most dangerous part about this is is the fact that it can be used for Signal. A lot of people do use Signal, journalists, activists, because it's generally considered a little bit more secure. And with Signal, you can do a one-click attack, where all you do is you just send an image to someone, and when they view the image, you can just go through and figure out which server cached the image, which means you get a general idea on where their location is. And again, there's a zero-click version of it, where if someone has push notifications and you send an image, the image will show up in the notification, and again, you can be tracked, just like the Discord friend request. However, I would say that is completely countered by the fourth and final drawback. It's the fact that if you're a journalist or you're an activist or if you're a criminal and you're being hunted down by someone, you're probably already using a VPN or a proxy or any sort of tool that masks your location and your IP. So really, at the end of the day, what is the actual impact of this? In my personal opinion, this is going to be used to terrorize kids, 100%. This might be used in some very niche cases to track down people and it's an extra tool in someone's toolbox. And if you're someone that's very privacy focused and you don't want people knowing your general location, 
location, this can be concerning, but if you're just a normal dude on the internet, you just chat on Discord with your real life friends, then chances are, you probably have other things to worry about. Like what are the deals in this week's flyer at the grocery store? Or just depression. Anyways folks, that's all I got in the nerd department. I'm definitely not a nerd and uh, I lift weights at the gym and uh, uh, who am I kidding? Anyways, bye bye, I love you. Mwah.